are no another head ship tonight, though. But there aren't even any managerial roles worth applying for. Well, time of the year, I guess. Everyone's happily settling into their new exciting roles while well, I get left behind. Hey, you'll find something. I hope so. There's still the after school club. <sighs> you can't be serious. What's it to you? She's a head teacher. And a damn good one. Yeah, and she's sat here, if you don't mind. It's a very important job. Remember that lass who used to run Ellis's after school thing? I mean, she wasn't the brightest, bless her, but. Look, can you just leave? All right. Americano, please. Yeah, I'll bring it over. I'm going to have to owe you for it. Well, I'm sorry. No credit, no exceptions. Rodney, come on, you can trust me. Yeah, of course I can, but it's Brenda's rule. She's very firm on the subject. I'll pay when I'm finished. Dad, why don't you come sit down? Where are you rushing off to? Nowhere. Are you OK? Just don't seem yourself at the moment. I'm fine. Just don't fuss. Feeling the pinch? Hmm. Can't even afford a cup of coffee now. Tracy, what do you want? I need to know who had access to the factory safe. The police have been through all of this. Only I've spoken to the guy my dad bought the engagement ring off. Uh, turns out he bought it first thing the morning of the fire. I don't see how that changes anything. Well, the money was all locked up at that point, wasn't it? So who had access to it? I'm sorry. I can't tell you that. It's a simple question, Rishi. Who had the code? <laughs> Tracy, you need to go back to the police. Whoever took that money probably started that fire, right? You know, the one my dad died in? Tracy. No, we all know the factory was struggling. You probably only offered to look after that charity money just to get your hands okay, on it. OK, you're going too far with this now. Come on, let's go. No, I want to know who killed my dad. Tracy, come on. I will find out. What happened, right? Hey, I didn't know you were about yet. I'm not, but it looks like I'm needed, seeing as you decided to be a complete idiot. Well, I've been called worse. Good. You deserve it. How's Aaron? He's angry, he's worried. But we're going to do our best to enjoy the next few weeks. You didn't need to come home. Well, home. Half the world seems to have moved into Myra's. Well, we can squeeze you in here. Oh, don't be daft. You've got enough on your plate. Anyway... Ah, Debbie's settling in nicely. Only you'd know that, wouldn't you, having spoken to Kane. Is that why you're here? Robert, I know how scary it is waiting for sentencing, but you are only going to make things worse if you start pulling stunts. Yeah, well, he's not interested, right? So you don't need to worry. Well, yeah, I know you, don't I? And you're not going to stop just because kane has got too much sense. I'm trying to make things right as much as I can. I need to know they'll be OK when I'm gone. And they will be. But if you put a toe out of line now, they will put you straight on remand. Extra time added. Anything that they can chuck on you. Aaron won't cope with that. So please promise me that you will drop whatever you have planned. Thank you. Don't tell him, will you? He doesn't need the stress. You swear to me it's over? I swear. It better had be. Why did you drag me away? I only wanted to know about the code to the safe. Because you practically accused them of starting the fire. You can't go around doing that. Well, what am I supposed to do? Wait for someone to confess? I don't know. Well, you're the one who said I don't need the police. Yeah, because the truth will always come out in the end. Look, Tracy, you just need to be patient. Well, I can't sit around doing nothing. Well, whoever it is, they're bound to make a mistake at some point. And they're more likely to do that if you're not on their back all the time. Yeah, and how long's that going to take? <sighs> Tracy's grieving. You can't let anything she says upset you. How can she think I was involved? Well, she's obviously still struggling to accept what Frank did. I used to think people liked me. Respected me, even. They do. But she's lashing out. It doesn't mean anything. I'm not just talking about her. I've seen how people look at me. You're imagining it. People have lost their jobs. Even if they don't blame us for the fire, it's our fault the insurance won't pay out. No wonder they hate us. Look, why don't you come give me a hand at home farm today? 
take your mind off things. I can really do with the help. Yeah. Great. You never really answered the question about the after school club. Yeah, I, I don't know. I already feel like a complete failure. It's such a step down. There you are. Keep it. So next time someone's short of change, you don't have to embarrass them. Oh, look, I'm sorry, but I don't make the. Uh, yours is a uh, oh, full 80, please. So, I mean, you can't buy for a while, money wise. It doesn't have to be arts and crafts. It can be like a, an homework club. The kids love you. And Nicholas Burns will be able to scare up whoever she needs to scare up to get the funding. <laughs> That's what she does best. You're going to do it? That's brilliant. I've not decided yet. Elliot would never admit this, but he really missed having you as his head teacher. An angel was a big fan when you were at the primary school. An April would love it, obvs. I'll think about it. Sheep's head or pig's trotters? Uh, yeah, whatever you like. <laughs> you really have got it bad. What? Why don't you just ask him out? Because we're mates. Oh, look at all your mates like that, do you? Oh, leave it out. Go on. What have you got to lose? I'll, uh, I'll leave you to it. Oh! <laughs> nice surprise. <laughs> Does this count as us going public? Oh, come on. We're in the way. I thought you'd be into egg white omelettes and weird green drinks. Mr. Personal Trainer? Oh, I'll leave the fatty diets to Alice. Food of the gods. A bit of toast. Maybe some cheese. Ooh, very lardy da. Well, I've got a day off and I'm gonna go to the cafe a bit later if you fancy it. I know we're both kind of broke and it's not much of a date, but. A date? Yeah. It doesn't have to be if, if you don't want it to be. No, I'd like it to be. Really? Yeah. Guess won't be needing these. Great. About half twelve? She might have money, but she hasn't got any taste. Dad, put it down. How has it come to this? Old and useless. But can you see a folder with a load of events bookings in it? All of those people looking at me in the cafe thinking I couldn't even afford a coffee. Do you want to help me look for it, Dad? <gasps> oh, Dad! <gasps> oh, great, Kim's going to kill me! It was an accident. Right, do you know what? I'm going to have to go home. It's not here. What? The file. I don't believe this. I haven't got my keys. Whatever it is, I'll, I'll go and get it. No, no, no. Give me yours. You stay here and just try and clean that lot up. I saw this TV show, Dad's Behind Bars, and they have this thing where they let you record bedtime stories. We need to start making serious money, so can we just focus on that? Right, but... I don't want to get involved in anything dodgy. Especially not with Nicola being on the council. She'll make Jimmy, my life... Jimmy, just shut up and let me think? It's all right for you. You'll be safely locked up. Sorry. That, that came out wrong. Another coffee. <sighs> Doesn't look like a financial report. Now, what do you reckon? I'm bringing it in from France. It looks like a standard midlife crisis car to me. And you don't have to go to France to get one of those. Yeah, maybe not, but it's where the owner lives and they want a quick sale. They get a divorce, I get a bargain. <laughs> now, you wait till you see it. It was a whole new concept in sports car manufacture. Fascinating as that sounds, we're meant to be meeting our accountant. All sorted. <sighs> Hello.
Tell me. I'm okay. Just leave it there, Billy. Please. Wait up a sec. No, I've got a meeting. Yeah, I, I couldn't help hearing you're into cars. But only if you were looking for someone to import yours. Uh, we're going to be late. Uh, I've got it covered. Yeah, but it'd be cheaper going through me than through the shipping companies, and I know a couple of tricks to speed up the paperwork. Look, it's a 30 grand car. You really think I'm going to let some cowboy like you anywhere near it? So much for giving me your word. <laughs> I haven't done anything. Only because he's not interested. Where are you going? Well, you're obviously not listening to me, are you? So I'm going to go and see if Aaron can talk some sense into you. He's out on a job. Well, then I'll wait, then. Give me your keys. What? Or do you want me to sit on the doorstep? you doing I don't need to explain myself to you excuse me you're ransacking my house hardly what are you looking for anything I can find did you steal my keys I borrowed them Tracy, we're friends. So I'm going to give you a chance to walk away before I call the police. My dad deserves justice, and no one is giving me a straight answer to anything. So, yeah, go ahead and call them, right? Maybe we can show them these. I mean, I knew things were bad at the factory, but you guys were really in trouble, weren't you? Final demand after final demand! You've got this wrong! Well, they're right here. I'm not imagining it. And the insurance obviously thought something went right. The alarm was turned off. I don't know who it was, but either your dad or your brother started that fire. No one else had anything to gain. They've lost their business. It was their whole life, especially dads. And yes, they had debts. Well, Manpreet did. But that was all sorted before the fire. How am I supposed to know if that's the truth? Well, it's easy enough to prove. Dad took a loan from Kim. And then when the insurance wouldn't pay out, he was left with nothing. If he had stolen the charity money, then he could have started paying her back. All I know is we want the truth as much as you do. And all I know is that it wasn't my dad, whatever anyone thinks. Someone out there is hiding behind a dead man and no one else seems to care. Full marks for observation. I need to tell you something. If it's about Robert, then I've already heard. I'm so angry with him, you know. Come here. Come on. Why would he plead guilty when he knows he's going to send him to prison? Have you asked him? Yeah. He reckons he'll get a short sentence and then he doesn't have to put Victoria through giving evidence and I get all that, but... What? You know what that place did to me. Well, then we have to make sure that the same doesn't happen to him. Yeah, he didn't want me to tell you this, but, um... He called Kane last night, wanting to see if he could do, well some kind of job. 
He just wants to make sure he's got enough money for you all. Yeah, but I can sort that. What kind of job? I don't know. But Kane said no. Good. Only then I heard him talking to Al about importing a car. I don't think he's got anything planned. But you need to stop him from doing something stupid before he ends up in even more trouble. Thanks for not calling the police. I can't go around doing things like that. I know. I just need to find out who did it. I should probably apologise to your dad as well. He'd appreciate that. He's been feeling pretty down as well, to be honest. Remember before the fire, there was all the money stuff. And then he found out from David that people have been stealing stock. Not like who? Oh, it was nothing, really. Honestly, it's nothing compared to what happened with your dad. Billy and Dawn. I don't know if anyone else was involved, but apparently they were stealing chocolates from the factory and selling them on. They were on the rub? Well, it was only a few chocolates. That's hardly the point, is it? Classy. I'm not in the mood. Well, come on, then. Tell me what the problem is. Robert. This is private property. Don't mind us. Just having a look around. Yeah, for what? Just checking out the local area. Seeing what's backing onto the outdoor pursuit centre. Lowering the tone. Yeah, well, we're in the middle of something, so why don't you just buy yourselves a map? You're the last that Billy was trying to help, aren't you? So? You need to work on your people skills. Robert, don't. We'll come back another time. Not unless you want to do it for trespass. <clears throat> She's feisty. Yeah. Quite like her, then. I uh, heard she went out with Ellis for a while. Just think, you could have ended up related. Yeah, well, thank God for small mercies. As long as that kid she's expecting isn't his. Oi! Billy! What were you gonna tell me? You're a low-life thief. What? You and Dawn making chocolates from the factory. How did you know about that? Priya told me. Look, we shouldn't have done it. But she was trying to raise a few quid for a lad. Found the money somewhere else, did she? Yeah. I need to be somewhere. Was it in the factory safe by any chance? You what? You heard. It's none of your business where she got it, but she's not a thief. Just tell me, you both are. We need to stop this. Just stay off her case. Just pack it in. I wasn't expecting entertainment to be late. She was raped! Is that funny enough for you? I'm sorry, but I wasn't thinking. In her own home by someone who seemed like he was all right? I'm sorry. Robert, Robert, Robert. Right, you two need to go. So much for making new friends. What was that about? He was having a go at Vic, making snide remarks like he's so superior. Getting yeah, you overreacting. What if he goes and reports you now? Well, then I go to prison. What's changed? Stop being so selfish. You can end up getting years added on. No, I'm sorry. And that's without whatever the stunt is you're trying to pull. Yeah, I'm not going to do anything. I thought if I could get some money together for you and Vic... Robert, I don't need your money. And neither do I. Do you think I care about your money? I want you. But you're so caught up on trying to be some sort of hero. I'm not sure I want that anymore. See? They listen to you. Think how rewarding it'll feel to be back at the home. All right, enough, enough. I'll do it on a temporary basis. You are amazing. Have I ever told you that? <laughs> <laughs> hey, kids! You've got your own Nanny McPhee! I'm not feeling the love. Oh, I'm sure they're excited, really. It's for the best, I promise. Is there something going on between them two? Keep your voice down. 
She asked him on a date. I didn't think she'd actually do it. Well, and you followed him? I didn't think she'd be bringing him here. Oh, well, good for her. She deserves to find a nice lad. Oh. Can't blame a lad for trying. You've had better dates than this. It's not your fault. I shouldn't have said anything about you needing the money. Well, everyone needs money, don't they? If she wants to try and make something of it, then good luck to her. Oh, well, great, here we go. Well, she's not going to have had time to build a case against me yet. Just relax. Forget about her. And tell me where you're taking me on the tricky second date. <laughs> if you want my advice... Uh, no, thank you. If he's moved on that quickly, then it's not worth wasting sleep over. What, you think I'm jealous? <laughs> Don't want anything to do with him, thanks. Not like you OK? Look at her, sitting there like she's done nothing wrong. I thought you weren't jealous. She was skint before the fire, do you know that? Then all of a sudden she's coming to some money. Well, I'm going to find out how. Clara makes a bold move in her bid to outplay Sir Edward when new drama Sanderton continues here on ITV Sunday at 9. And don't forget, you can catch the full series of our other new drama, Deep Water, on ITV Hub. But stay there for Coronation Street on the way next.